preschool friends. I'm just getting ready some clothes to donate. Do you know what donate means? It means you give something that you don't need anymore to someone who needs it more than you. Today, in our Ollie story, we're going to hear about a woman who made clothes for people that needed them. And so let's watch our story together and see what Ollie has to teach us today. It's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess. How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. But there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends! Hello! I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt, Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! 
Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes, which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys. Wow, great job, Tabitha. <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? That's right. Whether you're a grown-up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? <laughs> of course, yes. Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm, you can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese! Awesome! I'll see you guys later. Bye! I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Our Bible story today was about how God made us to help others. Do you remember what Tabitha did for others? Yes! Tabitha made clothes for people who didn't have any. She might have even made a coat for someone so they could stay warm when it's cold outside. God made all people to be helpers. Who made you? God made me! And being made to help is one of the things that makes us wonderfully made. We've been practicing a Bible verse this month that says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. We've been practicing this verse all month long. So let's say it together with the motions one more time. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. That was great, friends. Should we do it again one last time? Okay. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
Psalm 139, 14. Awesome! You sound so amazing to me. There are so many things we can do to help others. We can donate food or clothes to those who need them, or we could help build a bed or a ramp for someone who needs one. We can give some of our money to those who are less fortunate than us. There are so many things we can do to show God's love to other people. So let's pray together and thank God for making us to be helpers, okay? Dear God, thank you for making each one of us to be helpers, like just like you. I pray that you will help us do things like donate our clothes or toys or money or food. May we always try to leave people and places better than we found them. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Great job, friends. Now I'm going to challenge you. You go out this week and be a helper, okay? Have a great week.